Hey everyone, thanks so much for jumping on. I hope you enjoy this as much as I did. Please like and subscribe as it helps me to help you to bring you free content. So when you feel ready, coming to the back of your mat, take a full breath in, arms come up above the head, and then taking one more breath here, and we're gonna to start to create a little bit of movement. On your exhale, fold forward, walking all the way out to find your first high plank, bringing your left knee outside your left hand, inhale the left hand high, and then coming back down, come to plank, dropping to knees or on your toes, down for a push up. Then transitioning the other side, right foot outside, right hand, lift up that right hand up. And then slowly coming back down, find your way back to your plank pose, tuck your chin and walk yourself back. One steps at a time to roll up your spine, one vertebrae at a time to come to standing. Let's repeat, inhale, arms up, exhale, forward fold. Walk yourself out to your high plank and belly to spine. Slowly bring left foot outside, left hand. Inhale. Exhale, come back down and step back to plank. Down for a push-up, knees or toes. Let's move that to the other side. Right leg comes outside, right hand. Inhale. Exhale, down. Tuck chin, belly to spine. Slowly walk back. Stretching out the hamstrings, that posterior chain and ripple up your spine one vertebrae at a time. Again, breathing in. Breathing out, fall forward. Find your way to your high plank, pull the belly in. Step left foot outside, left hand. Inhale, lifts you up. Exhale, brace the core, step back, high plank, knees or toes, down for a push up. Changing sides, right foot outside, right hand, breathe in. Exhale, chin tucks in, the belly to spine. Just bend your knees as much as you need to, walk back. Coming all the way to roll up your spine, standing nice and tall and just turning into a bit of a straddle and one of my favorite movements, just working into some movement around the sacral area and the joints. So keeping your feet not super wide, but definitely grounded. I invite you to find any movement here with the hips in a figure of eight pattern. And if you have a furry friend near you, feel free to get them involved. They love this movement too. This is Lily. If you've not met Lily before, she likes to get involved. Keep the feet as they are. Take a full breath in. And then as we exhale, coming all the way down and then just slowly starting to reach across to the opposite foot with the opposite hand. Bend your knees as much as you need to here. We're going to slowly start to take this move into a little bit deeper move. If you'd prefer to stay where you are, then please do. Bending into the knees a little bit more and using your hands for support. Moving into a sliding Cossack lunge now, just side to side, engaging the inner thighs, just feeling into the mobility of your body today and just checking in with the hips, the hip flexors and the groin as to what they need. Always, always listening to your body first, not me. You are your biggest teacher, not me. And your body will always tell you, tells you what it needs. And then just coming down to the knees and finishing off with some beautiful articulations of the spine. Inhale, lifts up the heart and the chin. And the exhale, we round the spine and the belly draws in. And just warm up your hands a little bit too here as you start to now take this into a little bit of a twisting motion. So fingers are spread wide, chin to chest. Start to twist open, drop your bum to the floor. And just follow along here and do the best you can. So starting to get a little bit of twisting movement uh, through the torso, through the spine, but also into the wrist and into the shoulders as well, which is super important for what we've got coming up for this super sweaty 30-minute session today that I cannot wait to share with you. If you need more time, please take it. If not, get yourself ready for the workout. All right, guys, get ready to go. Movement number one, frog to bear. Wrist should be super warm. You can always step this out. You don't have to jump. We have 30 seconds worth of work approximately. Sinking yourself down into a bit of a squat, shaking the water out of your ears if you had any like edited. And then hands come down, jump the feet into a hovered bear. And then just moving from your squat into a hovered bear, completely in your own pace. Arms are dead straight, belly draws to spine. Optional, just step it in and step it out. If not, aim for a sense of lightness as you transition from one to the other. Not too much long left in this sequence. Do your best. Whoo, well done. Nice work, guys. First block is done. Don't get too comfortable here. We're not here for too long. Shake it out. Give yourself a smile. 
have a little sip of water, getting ready to come down to your mats for the second round of movements. So we now have two movements combined together. So again, I'll definitely give options into this one. We're going to start in a high plank, fingers spread wide, and we're going to jump the feet into the knees and then over to the left and over to the right, just as what you're seeing here in the video. Option, you can step this out. You don't have to jump. So we're trying to go into the chest, over to the left and over to the right. Just working at your range, option to step it, just like what I'm doing here. We're not here for too long, but we are going to go straight into a second movement, which is going to be a hovered bear. Really great one for the core. So give it your all here. You should be pretty stuffed by this point. We're going to bring those knees underneath the hips, straighten the arms, shoulders, elbows, wrists are stacked, chin to chest, belly draws to spine, round your shoulders like the angriest cat you've ever seen. And we hold. Big strength movement here. You'll feel your quads start to burn. I really want you to pull that belly up and in as if you're pulling your belly away from the tip of a flame. Continue to push that floor away. Don't forget to breathe. We're here for about five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. You guys are doing amazing. Um, don't forget, I also have playlists on Spotify that you can pop into any of these workouts. Um, so just look for my name, Meg Linton, on Spotify to add this to your workout today. Alrighty, moving into the third part of the first segment. So you'll need any kind of weight, doesn't matter what it is. I'm using dumbbells here. And we're going to do a one plus one. So it's one bicep curl, one upright row. We are on. Then two bicep curls and two upright rows. Again, so when we're working with this one, use a weight that is challenging for you. You can, of course, use kettlebells, plates, use what you've got, even heavy water bottles. You just use whatever you can. So every single repetition, I'm adding on one more rep. With the bicep curls, making sure that we're trying not to swing the weight. So we really want to try and isolate into the, the bicep muscle here. Keep the belly engaged, trying not to use momentum. And in that upright row, we want to keep the knees slightly bent, belly to spine, and then lifting those weights just up past the chest. Breathe here. So I was struggling a little bit by this point. <clears throat> so this round is approximately 90 seconds long. We want to have a weight that is challenging us here. Every single repetition, you are adding one more rep. Guys are doing amazing. We are nearly there. Stay with it. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. All right, guys, well done. That is your first round done. You now know what is coming at you. There is two more rounds to go. They are short. They are sweet. You don't get much rest. Rest more if you need. Give it everything you've got. And of course, have fun along the way. Getting ready to come back to your mat. And we're going straight into those little squat burpee kind of frogs. Let's do it. Hands on the mat. And then just stepping or jumping or floating your way into these delicious frog squats. These honestly are one of my favorite moves. I love them. They burn the legs. Great for building shoulder strength and, of course, working into the core. So having about 10 more seconds or so here can always modify by stepping in and stepping out. And rest, breathe. Short little recovery here before coming to our next round of movement. My dog comes and says hello. We are coming back to that little crouch, <laughs> getting a little kiss from Lily here, and we're going to jump to the right, jump to the middle, jump to the left, and then continue with these little bunny hops. Option always just to step in and step out. The arms are consistently remaining straight. Breathe here. I was starting to sweat up a storm here. Remember the transition will be straight into that hovered bear hold. Breathe in, breathe out, lift the knees, tuck the toes round the spine, and we're holding. And Lily's off. She's like, no, nope, fuck that. I'm out of here. See you later. You guys can have that. This is such an underestimated movement. It is so challenging. I invite you just to breathe. So really focusing on your breath rather than how long you're going to be here for. We are nearly done. Three, 
two, relax, breathe. Bigger rest here before we pick up those weights to go into our stacking combination of one bicep curl and one upright row. Breathe in, breathe out. When you feel ready, we're going to start to pick up our weights. We have approximately 80 to 90 seconds worth of work here. So when you're ready, we're going in your own time so you don't have to match me here. Work on your form, so making sure we are not swinging those weights. And take your time when you're working on that concentric and eccentric phase of lifting the weight and bringing them down. Keeping the shoulders away from the ears, the belly draws to the spine. I like to split my stance, especially when I go a little bit heavier with the weights. I'm going to leave that completely up to you. Again, try not to use any momentum here. Each time you come back to the repetitions, you'll be adding one more repetition. So trying to keep it nice and smooth, do the best you've got. If you do have lighter weights, you are always welcome to put them down like I just did then, grab the lighter weights and continue on. Um, a band is also perfectly fine to use for this workout as well. You know, we just do what we can with what we've got. So try to stay strong, try to keep moving here. There's a big rest coming at the end of this. So not too long to go to a finish with this weighted movement. And we have one more round starting with those frog bears. But we're still in this movement now. So keep moving through, adding on one more repetition. All right, guys, there's approximately 10 seconds left to go. So big and strong. Get out what you can here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Breathe in. Breathe out. Ooh. It was probably one of the hottest days in Newcastle when I filmed this. <laughs> um, and I was so sweaty, but it was exactly what I needed. So I hope you're enjoying it as much as I did. All right, guys, maybe a big breath in, a big breath out. Get ready, come down to the ground. Last time through, shake it out, smile, laugh. And we have 30 seconds of your frog to bear. Three, two, one, go for it. Especially third time coming into these sequences, you might find that you might have a bit more fluidity. You might find that you might be feeling a little bit more fatigued, but also being the third round, you know this is the last round that we're going to do this. So have fun with it. No, you're not here for much longer. Keep straightening out of those arms. See if you can find a little float in between the frog and the bear. Three, two, one. Ten seconds rest. Breathe in. Breathe out. All right, guys, let's bring it back down. Fingers spread wide. We've got those little hops side to side. I love this movement too. I love every movement. It's just good to move, right? We're so lucky. If we have a body, we can move. We have two feet and a heartbeat. That is more than enough to be uh, grateful for. So every opportunity you get, thank yourself and your body for being able to move however that is for you. Not too long here to go. Stay with it. Little jumps in and out. Tuck in and out. Compress. Breathe. Three, two, one. Hovered bear. Up we go. Tuck the toes. If you're feeling super playful, I was shattered. You're welcome to play with lifting one foot off, holding that for about 10 seconds, placing that foot down and lifting it off. But I was done. I was absolutely cooked by this stage. I had sweat literally pouring off me, as you'll see when my puppy comes over, to give me a few kisses. But hold here now. You've got about five, four, three, two, relax, about 20 seconds rest. Big breath. We have one more set to go in this sequence. So I want you to give it your best. No, you're not here for long. We've been here before working with the weights. It's a one plus one. One bicep curl, one standing upright row. Option, of course, to use a band. Getting ready to go. Three, two, one. Off we go. So one bicep curl, one upright row. You know, I've found that COVID has taught me so much about having a home practice, not just movement, but also yoga. I've started dancing, just finding ways to move. You know, it's always in us. We don't need to go external to move. 
And with so many options online these days, you know, how amazing is it that YouTube can offer these videos, including myself, like to, to people like us that want to just move at home and, and work out. And when we start a routine, all we need to do is practice it, be consistent, and that will become our daily practice. And the same with any form of movement. So keep it short, keep it simple, give it everything you've got. Guys, we're nearly done. Stay with it. Not too long to go. And then make that your daily practice. Make you your daily practice. You are your priority and you are entirely up to you. Keep working through here, guys, stacking those repetitions. I was absolutely shot by this point. We have not got long to go. Stay with me. This is the last round in this sequence. Nice and slow, nice and steady, trying not to use momentum, really using your core as much as possible, belly drawing to the spine. Keep continuing to rip these reps out for five, four, three, two, and one. You are done. Breathe in, breathe out. Well, guys, well done. You're halfway through this nice, sweaty little session. We're jumping now into the second sequence. So please feel free to take more time than what is here if you need to. But just take a few deep breaths, have a small sip of water, and try to get this done and dusted so that you are then able to get on with your day. All right, get ready, get yourself set up. Let's get ready to go. All right, guys, all you're going to need is your mat. Let's get on there and I'll give you some variations with this one. So in this split lunge, just find where you need to go here. You can step it really lightly. Be mindful into your knees. Your body will tell you where it can and cannot go. This is such a great exercise. You can really modify it or you can really amp it up by getting low and exploding high. Just do what you can. I'm not going on any number here. I'm just moving, jumping, playing, pausing. You do you. Your legs will definitely start to burn by this point. Three, two, and one. Rest. All right, guys, don't get too excited. Uh, we are about to move into that second one, into our kick throughs. You'll come onto your hands. Let's get ready to move. Here comes the variation. Come into plank pose. We're going to bring the left foot outside the left hand and then just tuck into a little ball. Doing the same onto the other side. And if you do want a little bit more, you can do a little jump and tuck. We're going outside the outside hand. So if I'm coming to the right, right foot outside, right hand, left leg shoots through, flex the foot. One of my favorite movements here, every single part of your body is being worked. So we go from this move straight into our next one, maybe one more of these, setting it up, have a breath in and a breath out. We're gonna take it to a side push up next. So coming down to the knees, and we're just going to Come side to side, wrapping the elbows in and allowing ourselves to just move and twist across the body. And as you come forward, you'll lean forward and your forehead or your ear will come down to the ground. So when you do this, the further away you are from your legs, the harder this is going to be. So have a play with this one. Spread your fingertips wide, elbows wrap in, belly draws to spine. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Alrighty, shake it off. Let's take a bit of a breather here. So big, deep breaths as we move into our last one for sequence number two. With this one, it is just the squats that go up by one. The curtsy lunge stays the same. So taking your weight, sinking down for your squat, and then we curtsy lunge to the left and curtsy lunge to the right. We now go to two squats. And then it's just a single curtsy lunge to the left and a single curtsy lunge to the right. You get the idea. So we're going down for three. So each time you squat, you'll be adding on one extra rep. The curtsies stay the same. Of course, you don't have to use a weight here. What I really want you to focus on is when we're squatting, we have this area in our foot called the tripod of the foot. And I talked about it in sequence number one. If we place about 60% into our heels and 40% into the ball of our foot with not much weight into the toes, we really, really start to work on splaying our hips open and our knees will automatically track over our ankles safely. From so many years in shoes and sitting, our glute medius has really forgotten how to function. Um, and a lot of the time wearing shoes, we've really forgotten how to use the muscles in our feet. So we may as well use everything we've got here, find a really strong squat, and then just continue to go up by one. We haven't got too long left 
left here. Again, it's about a minute and a half of work. Really play with that squat. Push yourself away from the floor so your inner thighs, your adductors are squeezing on that squat. The belly is consistently drawing to the spine. In that curtsy lunge, just playing with your own depth and then really, really feeling as you come into that curtsy, you're squeezing the inner thighs as well as you start to stand back up. All right, guys, stay with me. About five seconds left. Four, three, two, and one. Pop that weight down. Well done. All righty, so sequence number two, first round done. Take what you need here. Walk around your lounge room. Give your puppy a pat. Take a small drink of water. Again, we are not resting too much in between these sequences, so give it a shake out, get ready to go. We are coming back down to the ground into my favorite movies, those movies, into that favorite movement that saw, um, no, not yet, sorry, into those jumping lunges, my bad, nearly forgot them. My body didn't let me forget these. So when you're ready, joining me, we're going second round of those jumping lunges. Keep it tucked in so it's not as long as a lunge, so it's like a little split lunge building uh, intensity into the quadricep muscles, into the glutes. Again, up to you how much effort you put into this. It's really fun to explode from the floor and really jump up, but you'll be definitely noticing the fatigue. Step it if you need. Not long. Three, two, and one. Rest. About 10 seconds here. Breathe in. Breathe out. All right, guys, here we go. Coming into that side, jumping kick through. So again, you can step it. You can just... Take a little tuck in and tuck out, and you'll really feel this into the obliques. You're constantly rounding the spine, so belly is drawing to the spine, so really working through the core. Nice straight arms the whole time, and if you want to pop that little jump and the shoot through of the foot, it is the outside foot that steps outside the hand, and then you kick through with the inner foot. You flex the foot and squeeze the quad. Super fun movement. A couple more of these to go. So you are welcome to stay, <laughs> I was a little bit stuffed by this point, you are welcome to stay with the side push up or another one that I really like to build up the shoulders and I, we definitely do this in yoga is coming into a forearm plank Oh, and Lily is too. <laughs> um, so when we come into this forearm plank, our forearms are down into the ground, it is an external rotation of the shoulder joint. So that's why we have the wrists in line with the, sh uh, with the elbows of the shoulders. Really feel that chest open up here, belly draws to spine for extra strength, push back with your heels, squeeze your quads, and then let that go. Well done, everybody. All righty, about 20 seconds, and we go into that second round of the weighted set. So it's one squat, and then one uh, curtsy lunge to the left and to the right. And then we add up by one in the squats every single time. Grabbing your weight, go heavier if you like, or just pop your weight down and do this body weight only. So I really want you to feel this time. Again, slow down your squats a little bit and really feel as you come down into that squat, push the floor away with your feet. So really use that tripod of the feet and notice what you can feel when you come down into that squat. You should get a hell of a lot more bang for your buck. And it really, really helps our hips open up and it protects the knee joint um, by allowing it to track exactly where it should over the ankle joint. Just wanted to share here, actually, um, I follow uh, the guys called the Foot Collective um, on Instagram. I highly recommend you going and checking out their page. Their information is so phenomenal um, on our feet and how our feet affect our hips and vice versa. So jump on their page. I'll pop the link down below in my comments, um, but highly recommend sussing those guys out. Very, very knowledgeable for what they do. All right, guys, staying with this. Again, we've probably got about 30 seconds left to go. So take your time. Try not to rush it. See what you can find here. So continuing to move through, stacking on those squats. Moving through here, guys, we are nearly done with this second last of the rounds. So staying with me here, playing with your depth, put the weight down if you need to, but continuously pull that belly to the spine, focused on that orientation of the foot. Four, three, two and one well done whoa sweaty i had probably chosen one of the hottest days yet in newcastle to record this video and i was absolutely dripping by this point but it felt so good let's get stuck in we have one more round to go get ready to go big smile shake it off all right and a little dance why not because it always feels good to dance so we are going back into those little split jumping lunges for the last time. 
I actually wondered why my legs were sore today and I'm guessing this is it. So as we come down, let's find that space. Again, you don't have to go as low as what I'm getting there. You work with your knees, you work with your body. Try and explode every now and then. I was absolutely burning by this point. So one to two to three little hops or step it. Just do your best. Know that it's going to be over soon. The guys at Redhead Wellness Century love this little movement when we do it. We are holding here for about five, four, three, two, and one. The pain was real. Lily's just like, yeah, right, whatever. <laughs> All right, guys, get ready to go. And coming down to plank position, belly draws to spine, anterior tuck of the pelvic bone, so really working through the core. And let's get ready to do those side kick throughs. So you probably are getting the hang of this by now and probably finding it just as much fun as what I do. Oops, sorry, Lily. And then working through, bringing that foot to the outside of the hand and then kicking that leg through. So you flex the foot, squeeze the quad, and then you get so much out of this. When I was um, training for my pistol squats, this was this really helped me um, just with the leg extension, working through hip flexor work, but also trying to find that space. <laughs> I was done. All right, guys, get ready to transition. Here we go. So forearm plank, dolphin plank, or a side push-up, which is what you did in the first round. About a 30-second hold. Really press down into the forearms. You'll see I'm rounding my upper back there, so I'm really spreading the scapula apart, squeezing my glutes together so I have an anterior tuck of the pelvic bone, pushing back with the heels, the quadriceps are squeezed, my kneecaps are lifting, and I'm trying my best, trying my best to breathe in and breathe out. Oh, let that go. One more round, everyone. That's it. So get ready to pick up those weights. We have one more round of the weighted session. If you have heavier weights there or a second weight, grab it um, and challenge yourself with this one. If you are absolutely cooked like I was, you're welcome to put that weight down. Let's get on it. About a minute and a half, one squat, one curtsy lunge, one curtsy lunge, and then start to stack on those squats. So again, guys, I hope you've got some good tunes with this one. And just a reminder that I do have quite a few playlists on Spotify now, just under my name, Meg Linton. And of course, if you like this workout, which I'm sure you're loving by this point, don't forget to subscribe at the end. Help me support you guys by helping um, YouTube give these videos out for free, which is what they do for you guys to enjoy. All right. So again, just a little bit of a recap back onto those feet. When we're getting tired, what we will do is possibly move medially. So we'll lean into the inner edges of our feet, um, which is a lot of the time what happens, you know, when we're wearing shoes and things like that, because we're not strengthening the four layers of muscle that's in our feet. So I really want you to pay attention to what's going on with your feet. That's why I do all my workouts in bare feet, unless I always have to run somewhere or anything like that. And it has helped me phenomenally get a really, really good understanding of how my body moves in space. I can really get so much more bang for my buck out of any um, single leg work or sort of compound work that I do by just being in bare feet, by just being able to feel. So I really encourage you to be out of shoes as much as you can. So belly draws to spine here. Just keep working through. Do your best. We are so nearly done. Hold for three two and one that weight is down you did it give yourself a smile and a thumbs up well done you oh well done guys the sweat was really not one i am dripping i hope you'll stay with me just for another couple of minutes to stretch out cool down to take some moments to get the heart rate back to back to normal so just take some time to come down to your mat lie on your back straight away drawing the knees to the chest give yourself a little bit of a hug that's funny. Rock your spine side to side, massaging into that upper back, lower back. Give me a hold of the right knee, extend your left leg long, and drive that right knee into your chest and then over to your right armpit. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have a puppy at home that after you've sweated, just will not leave you alone. Continue to pull that right knee into your right armpit. And then from here, we're going to bring that right knee over to the left side. We're going to find our supine twist. Peel your right shoulder open. And if you've got a furry friend, give them a hug. Oh. So please remember, if you enjoyed that and had fun through that video, please like and subscribe. I'm really trying to, to get my uh, channel up to 1,000 subscribers so that 
uh, YouTube can pay me for the content that I provide to you guys. So the more that you guys can help me, I can then help you in return. I really appreciate that. So make sure you click the subscribe button when you're finished watching today. Bring yourself back up to center and then just changing direction. Pull the, <laughs> the left knee into your chest. Extend that right leg long and then pull the left knee over to the left armpit the best you can. Slowly taking that left knee over to the right side, tuck your right hip under and finding your supine twist on the other side. As many of you know, I'm also in the process of writing my first book, Watch Ya Language. So for details on this book and any workshops that are coming up and blog content, just head over to my website, which is watchyalanguage.com. Uh, to find out all the updates of my book um, and to read bits and pieces of my blog that I'm putting together as well. Just gently rock and roll your way up to seated. Bring your legs nice and wide. We're going to come into a straddle position. And we're just going to do some breath and movement here. So from this straddle position, take your full inhale, gather the hands up. And as you exhale, just find a forward fold. Breathe in, come back up to seated. Bring the feet together and exhale, forward fold. I'm going to do five of these. Inhale, arms come up, legs go wide. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up, heels touch. Exhale, butterfly fold. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Make this the last one. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. So to take some more time stretching, um, but more importantly to get into the connective tissue and the fascia, I have plenty of yin yoga videos on my channel that's now divided up into a playlist for yoga, for movement, um, for my talks on watching our language and meditation and mindfulness. There's also kids stuff on here as well. So again, please jump onto that. Yin yoga is so important if you are moving a lot or in a busy schedule or your mind is going 100 miles an hour. We need a balance of all things. We need to sweat, we need to move, and we need to move fast, but of course we need the opposite as well. So I really encourage you to jump on um, the like button and also subscribe if you enjoyed this. I'd really appreciate that. And from my heart to yours, I hope you had fun. Jump on my website for updates on my workshops, um, any events that I've got coming up and updates on my book, www.watchyalanguage.com. Namaste. Thanks, everyone.